A string of break ins and robberies hitting South Charlotte neighborhoods yet again. We first brought you the story Tuesday when neighbors alerted us from uh, broken glass doors there and stolen luxury items even. Yeah, WCNC Charlotte has been digging to get a response from CMPD about what is being done to solve this. Tonight, the department is shedding light on the investigations. Here's our Julia Kaufman. Recent break ins in South Charlotte have some neighbors on edge. It shakes you up. Four homes in the Carmel and Montebello neighborhoods were broken into over the weekend. A police report shows one house was robbed for $11,000 worth of jewelry and handbags. It's nerve wracking. You think you feel safe and then to hear something like that. Police say they're investigating whether the recent string of break ins are related to each other and if they're related to organized crime groups. And at this point, it, we, we can't say definitively, but they may be and they might not be. Earlier this year, several South Charlotte neighborhoods were burglarized. WCNC Charlotte learned then police were investigating possible connections to crime groups from Colombia and Chile. It's something that our detectives have worked with regional partners with, our federal partners, and then even internationally where we see folks that are coming into the country, maybe using fraudulent IDs, and it makes it difficult to track. And, 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 they're, and they're mobile generally is what we've learned. CMPD alerted the community in February, sharing a presentation that says the thieves target master bedrooms in high-end homes looking for luxury items that aren't easily traceable. They're a sophisticated group. Okay, this is something that that reaches farther than South Charlotte. A man tied to one of the groups was arrested in August for a South Charlotte burglary but it's unclear if the groups are still active here and if they're responsible for the recent break-ins. Are they still occurring by that specific group? That's something that we're looking at and considering. Lieutenant Kevin Petrus warns not to show signs of a vacant home, like letting packages pile up or having lights off. We try to get each other's packages. If we see cars that shouldn't be there, we let each other know. I mean, I, you definitely have to look out for your neighbors. He also urges people to get updated security systems and report suspicious behavior to police as soon as they see it. Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte.